For those of you in a hurry, this highlighting is InDesign's way of letting you know that you have manual overrides on your text. This is the Style Override Highlighter, and it's a toggle that turns this feature off and on. It can be found in both the Paragraph Styles and Character Styles panels. Stick around to learn more. If not, catch you later. I'd like to explain why your InDesign file sometimes looks like this. So what is this highlighting and what does it mean? Let's jump over into this file just here. I've got a couple of paragraph styles already set up and a character style. Let's double click to get inside of my text frame. My cursor's inside the first paragraph. So let's apply the intro paragraph style. Selecting text from paragraphs two and three, I'll apply the body paragraph style. So this is generally looking great, but there's a couple of small changes I would like to make. I'm going to select the text in the first paragraph. Here in the properties panel, let's change the font size from 16 to 17. And let's bold a couple of words just in here. Double clicking to select earth. Let's change it from regular to bold. Let's do the same for sun, regular to bold. So I'm pretty happy with where this is going. Now in both the character styles panel and the paragraph styles panel is this button just here, the style override highlighter. I'm going to activate that just now and nothing happens because we also need to make sure that we are in the right screen mode. So here in the tools panel at the bottom is the screen mode button. I'm going to click and hold and change it from preview into the normal mode and all of a sudden that highlighting shows up just here. Now you may have already guessed what's going on just here. This highlighting is InDesign's way of letting us know that we have manual overrides. InDesign loves us using paragraph styles and character styles to format our text and it absolutely definitely is the best way to do that especially with large documents. Manual overrides can be extremely problematic and InDesign likes to let you know wherever you have one. Now this highlighting is a relatively new feature in InDesign. The traditional way InDesign shows a manual override, if I click in the word sun just here, we can see here in the paragraph styles panel against the applied paragraph style, we have this little plus sign just here. Again, that's the traditional way InDesign shows a manual override. So to sum up there guys, manual overrides are bad and that's what this highlighting is indicating. So we could manually try and remove all of those, but there is a very quick way to do this. So again, we've got our cursor inside of a paragraph with a manual override. At the bottom of the paragraph styles panel is this button just here, clear overrides which I'm going to click on just now and check it out. The manual overrides have been removed. No more plus sign. InDesign is now happy. So how do we make individual words bold or italic then? Well, of course, we use character styles. So let's select the word sun and apply the bold character style. This little guy's sole purpose in life is to make things bold. I'll double click on earth to select it and again, apply the bold character style. No highlighting, no plus signs, InDesign's happy. I'm now looking at this first paragraph and I am liking that text change that I just made. Now I don't want to have to undo it and then go and change the paragraph style. Here's a great trick if you want to incorporate a manual override into a style. Right mouse click on that style and choose Redefine style. Now give it a second here. The highlighting's disappeared. So we know InDesign is happy. And again, my cursor is inside of here. Here in the properties panel, we can see indeed the text is no longer 16, but 17 point. So we've successfully updated the paragraph style. There's no highlighting, there's no plus sign. InDesign is happy. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. 
I hope that explains what that weird highlighting is here inside of InDesign. Catch you later.